All right, everybody. Hope you're having an awesome day today. We have Titleist Pro V1s, brand spanking new, versus Titleist Pro V1s Reloaded. These are those used, previously hit, something happened to these balls. They were lost from somebody forever, and now they're yours. Or, you know, if you buy them. It's like semi-stealing in my opinion. For a brand new pack of Pro V1s, I paid retail $48 for 12 balls. It's my receipt. There you go. For the reloaded balls, I paid retail $21.99. There you go. Almost $30 difference between the two. Pretty close. So the question is, are these as good, a close enough equivalent to these? Or are you better off getting better performance with these? Remember, one day, these will be these. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Digging into the reloaded pack of balls. I wish they were all the same, they're not. These are kind of the newer Pro V1. This one is a 392, so that's even older. This one's a little scuffed. This one's got some markings on it. Ooh, this one's beat down. Flow shore. Cart path mark here. Treat, who knows what that is. Okay, this is a Pro V1 X, so it's a Pro V1, but it's an X. You know, it's like that Forrest Gump. It's kind of like a, a box of chocolates. You, you just never know what you're gonna get when you open these guys up. Some uh, disclaimers, uh, they say they're quality control tested. I don't even know what that means. Who's doing the quality control testing? And uh, they say that the uh, durability and performance do not fall under original manufacturer's guarantee. Obviously. They are Pro V1, some are X's, some are even older, there's no guarantee as to what year, make and model you're getting, or well, you're getting the Pro V1 at least. At some point in time, they were Pro V1s. Here's what we're gonna do on the testing. We're gonna hit wedges with the, whatever we get, we're gonna try to hit each ball, try to get a fair kind of idea of what we're getting with wedges. We're gonna do some mid irons, we're gonna do drivers. See what the difference is, let you know if, it's worth your time and money. Well, just your money for these versus those. All right, reloaded balls, here we go. The thing about the reloaded balls is you just don't know how many times each one was hit. You also don't know where they spent their time prior to being found. Were they in the lake? Were they in the water? Were they in the freezing cold elements? Were they just sitting there in a bush. You don't know. You know where these were. In the factory, in a box, perfect pristine condition. One of these balls could have been hit once, the other could have been hit 500 times and then found, you just don't know. Now we'll go with the, uh, the brand new Pro V1s. Seven irons up. Now we'll start with the new balls. We'll go back and forth. And with the driver, I will be using my uh, Sim 2, eight degree loft, Ventus blue shaft, custom fit. So it's all good to go. Reloaded balls are up first. Shocking results, shocking. Okay, the, this is the result with the pitching wedge. Here are the results on average with the reloaded balls. Down at the bottom, you can see I'm getting an average total carry distance of 114 yards. I'm getting an average spin rate of 8,700 miles per, per hour with an average swing speed of 81 miles an hour. So these are the reloaded balls 
and an average height of 81 feet. Always good to look at that, which falls going higher, farther, that type of thing. And now here is the average numbers of the 12 shots I hit with the Pro V1s, the brand new balls. A lot more carry distance, 80, uh, 118 yard carry, little more uh, total distance, a bit more height, and 89, 69 average spin. So you can see the difference there of the two balls. A uh, little more distance with the brand new balls to be expected. A little bit more spin to be expected. Newer balls spin a little more and we're getting a little more height because of that spin. And here's the dispersion pattern between the reloaded and the new balls with the pitching wedge. Interestingly, I have a tighter grouping. The light blue is the reloaded group of balls. Okay, so what are the results with the seven iron? Here are the uh, averages from the reloaded group of balls. Average carry was 165 yards with a 5,800 spin rate. And I was swinging on average of 85 miles an hour. Average height, 88 feet. And here are the results with the brand new Pro V1s. And I'm getting, uh, Roughly the same club head speed, a little bit faster for whatever reason. Ball's going 97 feet in the air. Average carry was 167 yards with an average spin rate of 6,094 yards. So again, things are kind of holding true of getting a little bit more carry distance, a little bit more spin rate, and a little bit more height with the new balls versus the used balls. So here's the dispersion pattern with the reloaded versus the new balls. The new balls are in the white and it went a little farther on average, but again, those used balls, go figure, I have a tighter dispersion pattern, a little more consistency with the used balls versus the brand new balls, also with the seven iron. Kind of shocking results so far. All right, final results here with the driver. Here we go. Reloaded balls, and I had an average carry of 243 with the reloaded golf balls. Total 281, average spin of 1860. Now I do have my driver dialed in, so I'm getting good numbers. That's pretty low spin, I like that. Uh, good ball speed, lower ball flight, 71 height on that. And uh, average club head speed with that was 102, so okay. All right, brand new Pro V1's statistics here, 12 shots. Uh, I was way more consistent this time in terms of my direction. My height on that was 87, so higher. Uh, much more ball speed at 154 miles per hour ball speed. 258 carry, getting a lot more carry and an average of 287 with more spin. And the spin rate is still pretty low, so good spin, not too high. And numbers look pretty good here. So here's the dispersion with the driver. The green is the brand new Pro V1s and the purple up top is the, are the used balls. And so look, if you wanna hit a fairway, I would not use an old crusty ball you're just gonna have inconsistent results. As you can see, I was pretty much all over the place. My dispersion with the new ball with the driver, when you're really compressing it, when you're getting maximum distance, as you can see, pretty tight. Everything's grouped in a great location there. So I like that. And the only one that went over 300 yards was the Pro V1 new ball. I don't know why I was getting a tighter dispersion with the used balls, with the seven iron and the wedge, but with the driver, it's clearly the winner, the new ball. However, is it $28 better? That's the major question. Regardless of what you decide, I think we can all agree on this one fact. Uh, Titleist does, regardless of what you believe or not believe, they do make pretty darn good golf balls that hold up under who knows what unknown conditions these were in for who knows how long a period of time. 
you need some C golf ball CSI agent to figure that out. Either way, they perform pretty well. So that I like. The question now is, uh, when you do miss the green, like apparently I'm gonna do a lot of, uh, should you chip with a seven iron or a wedge? For that video, click right over here. Thanks for watching, love you guys. See you next video.